Hello friends, this is Seven of Tickets LPs, and today I'm going to be bringing you another beautiful episode of Taz Wanted. In the previous episode, we have fumbled our way about to the outskirts of the canyons, way up high. And, in this episode... No, seriously, why is there a freaking gas thing? There are freaking roadblocks that would stop any vehicle within this right mine from ever getting here, and this path is way too narrow for a vehicle. Why is there a freaking gas station? Oh yeah, it was to house a freaking stupid wanted poster. I'm so mad. Take the take take the dynamite, Taz. Chuck it at the gas station. Make it blow up and nope. Oh well. Apparently that doesn't work. So I suppose that we shall have to find an ulterior method of destroying this gas station. As ow, it's gonna involve getting rid of that box. That's for sure. All right. Well, if you do recall, we do indeed have a box killer, my bobber, majigger thing. Unlike prior. Over, way over there. That was pretty annoying, but regardless, at least in this episode, we will have a better way of dealing with those boxes. One of which includes... Zooming right past that guy, basically. These guys don't notice us. It's okay. They, they don't even know that we're trying to blow up their freaking gas station or anything. Aw, oh, I just didn't make it. Woo! Who would have thought that break, destroying a gas station would be such hard, tedious work? It's okay. We're gonna get... Whoa, whoa, ho, ho, ho. Guy, I, I need to kill the boss. Whoa, what? Ow! Jeez. Uh, never mind, I guess that gas station is well guarded. All right. I've made it this far without the slightest delay in my anti-favor, because that's a thing. And yep, destroyed it. Hmm. So how are we gonna destroy this thing? This is a gas station. I guess I can't just like, ram into things arbitrarily, nah. Well, if we do recall, we've got some pretty darn spicy peppers over there. We might want to give those a shot. Let's see, let's see what this can do. I'm liking the odds, you know, flammable material, flame in my mouth, I got this. Don't worry. Brah! Uh, no, R really? Huh. Wow. Apparently, Yosemite Sam suddenly decided that he wanted to start following security protocols of any type. What the hell, man? Then what are, what are you ever gonna do? Uh, I'm just gonna ram this in frustration! What the hell? This is shaking. Wow. We had frickin... We had frickin' fire breathing out of our mouth. Yeah, all you had to do was ram a sign so that the glasses could burn it down. Sun rays reflected from glasses are all it took. Yet, I don't even. I'm not even gonna question it. You know, apparently Yosemite Sam didn't just not skimp out on freaking security measures again because it looks like all it takes to destroy his freaking fuel stops are just glasses. Be warned, drivers. Glasses are a dangerous hazard. Ugh. What are we gonna do next? Well, I do believe that we have to get past this guy somehow. How are we ever going to do that, you might ask? Well, that's a good question. I guess we're just going to have to find some method of getting rid of this guy. I mean, he's kind of... The oh, I can sneak by him right here. Just, it's okay. I, it's not that hard to sneak by these guys. We've already established as much. Let's go ahead and just check out what's in here. What kind of costume do I got? Wait, who is this? What have you done with Taz? No, don't shoot me. Don't shoot. Ah! All right. We are apparently gun Taz. And he shoots fart out of his fingertips. Yes, this, okay. I, I don't even, is this even gonna work? Why do I doubt this? Yes, okay. So apparently we have evolved from butt scratching creatures of doom to anatomical fart gun creatures of doom. I don't, I don't know what to think about this, but there was indeed a box over there. And as we've all established thus far, this is the only one true way to get rid of boxes. At least in my book. Or in my box. In my box of thought. You might say that I'm thinking outside the box. Holy crap, think outside the box faster. Woo, I got it. All right, yeah, well, that box was definitely included, excluded from our better conscience because we kind of just killed it. Ooh, that was, that was a trickster. That was a trickster one. I guess it's because I blew up the freaking thing. That must have flown all the way up into the atmosphere after I blew up the gas station and just landed on my head. It almost ruined my day, too. It was almost karma, but not quite. 
and we're going to be able to continue on our way without any repercussions whatsoever. This is an interesting place. You can destroy a few stuff around here. There's also the... What the heck? What the heck? It's, it's a painted on... And that's a that's an odd dance. I guess I don't know. I guess Taz has some weird way to worship painted walls with fake tunnels. I don't know, Taz. You're you're a weird one. That seems to be an odd dance. I don't know. I, I like how they programmed that in there, but it seems kind of odd that you can ram into any wall without that being a factor, and suddenly that one specifically, those ones that are painted, just kind of like make you flatten for no reason whatsoever. Oh, it's interesting. But I thought that was pretty cool as a kid. I'm not going to lie. That kind of polish was actually quite something to me as a kid. Regardless, we apparently got the destruction bonus. It was clearly not that hard. I'm thinking that we definitely going to want to go ahead and... Jump on into this flying thing. I mean, what, what's the worst that could happen? Oh, I'm locked in. Ah! Let me out! There's no water in here. This is supposed to be a water tower. What the hell? What? what it's a secret rocket? How? How? Uh, uh, okay. Apparently, I broke into. Hey. This is, where am I? We've discovered a new area as of this. That is pretty cool. What is indeed in this area, though? Hmm. Used to be toxic sludge. This is a restricted area. Perfect. I can just break my way out of this place now. As you can see, we have managed to get into this restricted area of awesome. So that's pretty cool. Ow! That guy, that, that thing wants to keep me into the restricted area now, apparently. Geez, some guard it is. That's why you don't automate boy looking boxes to do your work. Hey, what did I just break? Seems to be a car that just rammed into- Apparently things have been flying around a lot lately, ramming into random places. It's not exclusive to the water towers that don't contain any water. Alright, let's hit the back of this truck and open up what appears to be a flying saucer. Man, tons of things. This is like Area 51. It's the Area 51 of Tazland. And we broke in. We'll finally get to see what goes on inside the Flying Saucers Very 51. Are you ready? Are you ready, friends? We've been waiting for this for a long time. Where the heck at? This is a weird... Whoa. Pretty... Wow. This is more empty than I thought it'd be. Kind of boring. Not gonna lie. What is in here? Oh, the tractor beam has preserved something for us, though. Apparently. Flying saucers are actually a secret governmental piggy bank. No joke, we've dis we've discovered the secret. They're hiding all their precious valuables in flying saucers, and in which are being hidden in Area 51. I don't know. I feel like there could be like a Swiss bank or something out there that could do the job a little better, a little better. You know, you'd even have less treasure hunters just trying to go after your stuff. It would make a lot more sense. Ah, oh, in total disregard to this, we are going to be able to continue, but in the next episode. In the next episode, we shall continue on into the area 51 of Tazland, in which we are going to discover a ton of crazy stuff. We do not involve toxic sludge. Of Ow! We just blew it up. This is how Taz... This is how Taz shoots... Yeah, you know, Taz just running face first into toxic sludge. This is probably how he mutated into shooting fart guns. I will see you guys in the next episode, guys, where we shall continue on our merry way through the canyons. Have a good one. That is that for this.